Hi, so to do this practice, um, you're going to each time identify the relationship. That's step one. So you're going to either write alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding vertical or linear pair for the angles in the picture. Then step two, you're going to decide whether that is a supplementary relationship or a congruent relationship. So supplementary means that it adds up to 180. Okay, so that means that they would add up to 180 degrees. And if they're congruent, that means that they are, the angles are equal in measure. Then after you've written the equation, um, you will solve the equation and then you will find the missing angle. Okay, so let's um, get, um, jump down to number numbers uh, three and four. So what I'm going to do for numbers three and four, you're also going to do for one and two, but I'm just going to look at three and four here. So in, ang in relationship number three, I'm going to decide what kind of relationship that is, and it is a um, vertical relationship because the angles are vertical to each other. And because it's a vertical relationship, that means these two angles are congruent. So then what equation would I write? Well, if they're congruent, that means they're equal. So my equation is simple. I just write angle equals angle. And I wrote 63 degrees, but I meant 61. Sorry. So that means that x equals 61. And so the angle here in this picture would also be 61. So this is 61 degrees. Then when I go to do um, example number four, the relationship here, I look at this and since they're on different lines, but they're in the same position, that makes them corresponding. So this is a corresponding relationship. So I'm going to write core. Okay, and corresponding angles are the same size, they are congruent. I can look and see that these two angles are both acute in this diagram, so they are congruent to each other. And since they're congruent, that means that I write that they are equal. So I write that this angle equals this angle. So how do I write that equation? I don't add the angles, I write 10x, that's the one angle, equals the other angle, which is 70, so 10x equals 70. And this time, my answer, although that angle right there is 70, oh, we'll say that, hold on. I'm going to solve this equation, and then when I solve it, I divide both sides by 10, so x equals 7. So I found what x equals, and then that means that this angle is 10 times x, which is 70. So you're going to do that for each of these problems, and you'll see that the um, equations get more difficult as you go. For example, here in um, number five on the next page, this, I have an expression in here, and this is subtractions, make sure you notice that. And the relationship, since they are on the same line and they are adjacent, they make a straight line, so they are a linear pair. So I'm gonna write linear pair. And if they're a linear pair, I'm going to write linear because I'm not going to write pair, but if they are a linear pair, then that means that they are supplementary because they make a straight line. That says linear, sorry. And they are supplementary. Those of you who are watching this without sound, you're like, what does that say? So now I'm going to write the equation. And to write this time to write the equation, these two angles are not the same size. So I'm going to write angle plus angle equals 180. So since these angles are not equal to each other, the equation I write this time is that I'm going to add them together and their sum is 180. So to solve this equation, I'm going to simplify this by combining like terms. And that's going to give me um, instead 2x plus 60 equals 180. And then I'm going to solve that equation. So when I solve that equation, um, I subtracted 60 from both sides. And then I divided by 2, and I got x equals 60. So if x equals 60, then when I substitute that back in here, I would do 2 times 60, 
which is 120. I can't, I can't draw this. Two, I found I can't do it. Two times 60, oh my gosh, it's getting worse, uh, is 120. And then I'm going to subtract 7, because it's 2x minus 7. And then that would give me 113. And if this obtuse angle is 113, 113 plus 67 is 180. So that's the right answer. So the missing angle here is 113. So that's the process. You're going to identify the relationship. Then you are going to um, write the equation, simplify, solve it, and find the missing angle.